Are you kind of buddy? Let's let's be honest. Like, are you are you kind of like a? What, do you really are you done with this this crop of welterweights as far as everybody like take it forever for everybody to fight each other? Are you ready for the new crop, the new generation yeah. to just step up? I'm ready for uh, Victor Ortiz. I'm ready for I mean Virgil Ortiz. I'm sorry, Virgil Ortiz. I'm ready for a uh, Boots Ennis. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm ready for Stanny Onis. I'm ready for all those guys now. Do you think any of those guys could beat Earl Spence or Terrence Crawford right now? Absolutely. Uh, they wouldn't be Crawford, but uh, Dr- Boots Ennis would give Crawford a great fight, but he wouldn't beat him right now. He's not experienced enough in the bigger fights. Okay. Yeah, okay. So wh- who you th- what type of guys do you think uh, Boots Ennis needs to fight in order to get ready for the upper echelon? He just got, he just got a, a mature physically a little more in the, and mentally – uh, a little more and get a little more seasoning, a little experience. A year and a half from now, he'll be Crawford. He just won't be Crawford right now. Mm. Do you think his lack of getting, I guess, bigger name guys is because he's not signed to Al Heyman right now? No, because no, because those guys wouldn't fight him. He'd be in the same situa- situation as uh, as Crawford. Mm. They won't fight Crawford either. Well, it's nothing to do with Al Heyman. Dang, yes. So it's because of the fact that he's just that good. And everybody kind yeah, of sees just what he like is. Crawford, just like Crawford is. They're not, they're not dying to fight him. Mm. 